So now we're looking at combinations of different denominations of coins. We're told that Matilda has a handful of quarters and dimes with a total value of $8.55. The number of quarters is three more than twice the number of dimes. And we're asked how many dimes and how many quarters does she have? So let's let Q equal the number of quarters. And let's let D equal the number of dimes. And I've set up this chart over here. The number times the value equals the total value. So the number of quarters we defined as Q. The number of dimes we defined as D. The value of a quarter is 25 cents. <clears throat> the value of a dime is 10 cents. And so the total value multiplying those together is 0 0.25Q and 0.1D. And we know the total value of all of the coins together is $8.55. All right, so how do we put this together into a system of equations? Well, first off, we know that we can use this total value column. 0.25Q plus 0.1D equals our total value of 8.55. Then well, we also have the, the second scenario we were given. The number of quarters, Q, is, which is equals, three more than twice the number of dimes, D. So the number of quarters, Q, is three more than twice the number of dimes. So two times the number of dimes plus three. So here is our system of equations. 0.25Q plus 0.1D equals 8.55 and Q equals 2d plus 3. Now we have an option here. We, we could get rid of the decimals or uh, in this case, since we've already solved for q, I'm just going to replace it and, and, and go through. So we substitute into our first equation 0 0.25 times q, which in this case is 2d plus 3 plus 0.1D equals 8.55. And when we multiply through, 0 0.25 times 2 is 0 0.5D plus 0 0.25 times 3 is 0 0.75 plus 0 0.1D equals 8.55. I'm going to subtract 0 0.75 from both sides and combine like terms at the same time. So minus 0 0.75 and then 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1D is 0 0.6D equals 8.55 minus 0.75 which is 7.8, and if we divide both sides by 0 0.6, we get D equals 13. So there are 13 dimes. So now we're going to substitute D equals 13 into our equation. So substitute D equals 13. So 0 0.25Q plus 0 0.1 times D equals 13 equals 8.55. So 0 0.25Q plus 
1.3 equals 8.55. Subtract 1.3 from both sides. So 8.55 minus 1.3. gives us 0 0.25 Q equals 7.25 and then Q dividing both sides by 0 0.25 equals 29 now just to double check that I'm going to put that into the other equation as well put our D equals 13 into Q equals 2 times D is 13 plus 3 that equals 26 plus 3 which equals 29 so so far what we've solved for is Matilda has 13 dimes and 29 quarters Let's go ahead and check that before we say for sure that's what it is. So check by substituting these into both equations. So 0 0.25 times 29 quarters plus 0 0.1 times 13 dimes. Does that equal 8.55? Well, 0 0.25 times 29 is 7.25 and 0 0.1 times 1 point or times 13 is 1.3 does that equal 8.55 and that does indeed equal 8.55 equals 8.55 so it checks in our first equation does it check in our second equation does 29 quarters Q equal 2 times D 13 plus 3 so does 29 equal 26 plus 3 29 does equal 29 so it checks in our second equation as well so we can assuredly say Matilda has 13 dimes and 29 quarters.